Hey there folks, my name is Tommy, the Digital Creation Specialist over at the Bathurst Clark Resource Library. And I'm here again today to talk about how computers work. And this time, we're talking about memory. So, when I say computer memory, I could be talking about this. Or, I could be talking about this, or this. Confused? Don't be. The concept of computer memory can be a little bit intimidating at first, but basically it refers to how a computer stores things for use. So, at the core of things, there are two different kinds of computer memory. Just like our brains, we have short-term memory and long-term memory. But in computer terms, we refer to that as volatile and non-volatile memory. Volatile memory refers to storage that is short term and temporary. So basically, as soon as the computer has done the task that requires that bit of information, it gets deleted. Non-volatile memory, however, is for things that we want to keep and store for future use or backup. But, hmm, why do we have two different kinds of memory in a computer? Well, for this one, I like to turn to my old friend, the analogy, and I've got a perfect one for this situation the kitchen analogy. Let's pretend your computer is a kitchen. And trying to run a program is like making a sandwich. Now, thinking of non-volatile memory, our long-term memory, that is like our fridge and our cupboards. It's where we put ingredients we want to use later, but don't need right now. This way they're not cluttering up our counters, making our other tasks a little bit harder. The counter is our volatile memory, or short-term memory. It gives us the space to do the tasks we need to by retrieving the ingredients from the fridge and cupboard and setting them on the counter so we can quickly and easily make our sandwich. And then when we're done making the sandwich, all of it goes back into the fridge and cupboard and whatever is left over gets swept away because we no longer need it. Now, imagine we didn't have a counter at all. So getting rid of our volatile memory then every time for each step of our sandwich making process, we would need to go to the fridge or cupboard, grab a piece of toast, put it down, put it back. Go get some mayonnaise, put it on our sandwich, put it back. And so on and so on until our sandwich is done. Not very efficient, is it? So that's why. Adding more volatile or short-term memory to our computer is one of the easiest and fastest ways of speeding up our computers by giving the computer more room to do our tasks. So now you know why we need two different kinds of memory in our computers. Our volatile memory for desktop computers is known as RAM or random access memory and our non-volatile memory in our computers are generally referred to as hard drives. So, now you know a little bit more about how computers work, especially in regards to memory. So, until next time, we will keep on talking more about memory. So keep on learning everyone, and until next time, bye bye.